is Breakfast Daily. And right now it's time for us to jump into the tech segment. And today on the tech segment, we are actually diving into the future of cooking, where technology meets you know, cooking skills. And today, joining us, we joining us on, on, on set is Steven Nase Boedi, the digital marketer and, of course, a consultant. And he's not new to this show, and he's going to be telling us about, you know, smart kitchen appliances. Yes. Where technology meets culinary skills, food, future yes. of food. What are um, smart kitchen skills? <laughs> Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Good to see you. Thank you, sir. All right. So we're talking smart kitchen appliances today. Mm. We've talked about smart homes. We've talked about smart almost everything. Yeah. Now smart kitchens. The kitchen is not going to be boring anymore. Wow. If you think of one of the favorite appliances mm -hmm. in the kitchen, the chopping board. Right. It's changed now. Mm -hmm. Gone are the days when uh, your usual chopping board gets, I mean, all wet, gets all starts getting moldy, all sorts. Not anymore. Right. Now there are appliances out there that are smart appliances that mm -hmm. does more than just being chopping boards. Um, there's one called the 47 Smart Chopping Board. Right. So before we get into that, why is this trend, like, why is this a growing trend? I think it's a growing trend, one, because people need convenience. Mm -hmm. So as we will discuss, you find that these appliances save us a lot of time right. when it comes to, gives us convenience. Number two, people also want to preserve food. Mm -hmm. So there's some appliances there that, for example, I buy a lot of bananas mm -hmm. and apples, for example. You can't always keep them in the fridge. And over a couple of days, they just go bad. But when you keep them in these appliances, they preserve them. Right. So that's a smart appliance. Right. Plus, even the struggle with moving around web tops. There's one there that has a cordless kitchen. Right. So the web tops are on you. Mm -hmm. Plus, you want to get new recipe ideas. Mm -hmm. And some of these are smart I mean, items that are connected with apps that give you recipe ideas. Mm -hmm. For example, we'll talk about, for example, a smart mixer which is connected to an app. So it gives you various baking recipes and stuff. So this is a growing trend. Right. Convenience, I mean, saving time. Also making the uh, kitchen a bit more tidy, it's, yeah, hygienic, mm -hmm. and all those things, plus preserving food. Right. These are the trends that are influencing. And also exciting because we, Excitement, yes. we learn some yes. new um, ways of cooking. Mm. Yeah. All right. And not making mistakes with, I mean, taking the guesswork out of the cooking. Okay. 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 Yeah. Like when I put salt, I just guess. I just, yeah. Nah. The African magic. Yeah. I know it. Some of these appliances will be the measuring for you. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. All right. So can we check out some of these appliances? Earlier on, you spoke about the chopping board. Yes. What's special about this, chop this chopping board? This chopping board, board is not just a chopping board. It, it even has a part where it, it defrosts mm -hmm. the meat quickly. On the chopping board? Yes. There's a part of it that you pull out and put your meat on and chop it. Plus, it cleans itself. I mean, as we'll see in the video, it does more than just, I mean, being the usual, the regular chopping board you have in the kitchen. That's a play in there. In a compact package, it's deeply appreciated. Good luck. <laughs> Cooking could be meditative, Cutting is essential in that experience. 4T7 provides me with a suitable friction, texture, and hardness. It significantly saves me time waiting for the meat to thaw to the right temperature. And it gets me a buttery cut through on vegetables, fruits, and smooth even grinds. while its app and waterproof digital scale allows me a precise control over each intake calculation. Its timer keeps me aware of the cooking process when I work on other things. While I do this, I often feel as if I'm a priest in a ceremony. An artist in his creation. And that is the beauty of cookery. If you enjoy cooking, 
Enjoy bringing surprises to life. You will enjoy 4T7. Accomplished. It's just more than just the regular chopping board that you have. Right, I mean, right. a lot of the things that we saw there are just using smart technology mm -hmm. to bring these to life. Right. Yeah. So this, we, we actually saw that this just one um, board has a timer, it has a magnetic defroster. knife holder, yeah, yeah. and on the side it also has a defroster and all that. Interesting. Yes. Yes, and it, it does, it's mold proof. Mm -hmm. So all the unhygienic things that you find. And it's also it connected to an app. Yes. Wow, that's very interesting. <laughs> and so we also have the, the smart mixer. Yeah, the smart mixer. Okay. What I love about the smart mixer is that it takes the guesswork out of the measuring for baking and stuff. And also because it has that, then it means you don't need to be calculating each of the items that you're putting in, for example. Right. It tells you also whether you have the right mix of water and uh, flour, for example. Right. Okay. okay. And it stops by itself when the mixing is done. All right. So let's check it out. This is Baking Remixed with AutoSense technology that does the thinking for you, optimizing mixing and whipping, removing all the guesswork for perfect results every time. All right, so it's taking off all the guesswork and yes. making it easier for you to do mm -hmm. your mixing. Mm -hmm. Hi, hey, God. This is also That's connected to an app. No, you know this? <laughs> I have a problem with all this. <laughs> I have a problem with Talk all this. Talk to me. I have a problem in the sense that, all right, so um, I want to bake a Ghanaian meat pie. Yes. So how would this now do the mixing for me? Uh, Okay, so the Ghanaian, I mean, meat pie, if you do yours, like I, I do mine at home, all the rolling and stuff that you do, this one will mix it perfectly for you. Mm. Because you have the right one, you have the right measurement of each of the ingredients right. that you need, plus it's got a sensor. Mm -hmm. So when it's not mixed properly and it's most, not smooth and all of that, it wouldn't stop. Oh. So you don't have to stop it to feel it and feel the so texture. So it gives you the right butter. Yeah, the yeah. right butter mm -hmm. and all those things, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's a perfect one. All right. um, so we have the fresh food keeper? Yeah, fresh food keeper. Okay. Which is also, I mean, uh, to preserve foods that you buy that you can't keep in the fridge. So you keep them in the fresh food keeper. No. And, um, and there's a picture of it that they'll show yeah. on there. So you can see how you can put in your banana and all the other things that you yeah. don't put in the fridge. Yeah, so do we have a picture of that? Um, let's check out a picture of that. Yeah. Oh, okay. And it's that simple. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. But it uses chemicals. Oh, you said chemicals. The, yeah, which I use. You to know, preserve. Yeah, to preserve it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the one. Plus, it also, because it's, I mean, it's got sensors, mm -hmm. it can tell you when, for example, it will start going, but it can be able to manage wow. how to put it and how to use it. Your bread, your banana, all those things. Because wow. so much like our bread, fresh. Mm -hmm. We don't want to put it in the freezer, take it out. When you toast it, it is different. Mm -hmm. But now you don't have to do that. All right. So um, on the list is a very interesting one, the cordless kitchen. Yes. What is a cordless kitchen? So you know when you in your typical kitchen... It's, no my, how, it's my kitchen not cordless enough. <laughs> no matter how many, I mean, uh, sockets you have. Right. You could have too many oh. appliances. So you have the cords going all over I the place. I get it. I get it. Now all the worktop, on the worktop are the hot plates, like if we call right, it that. Right, I get it. Where you can put in your stuff. Now, the video we're going to watch, you see how convenient it is to organize even the morning rush out, making breakfast and doing all of that. All right, let's check out the cordless chicken.
Wow, that's very interesting. It's very but you, interesting. You know, like, it's 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 sort of like an all in one yes. kind of thing. Worktop. Yes. <laughs> yeah. An all in one space. Yes. You could use the space to mm -hmm. as a dining table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could use the space to cook. Mm -hmm. You could use the space to blend. Mm -hmm. You could use the space Toasts, to even do all toast. Those and that's because you know, I didn't even think it was going you were um someone was gonna be able to cook on it. Especially for the fact that, yeah, I saw them, you know, um, using it uh, for the processor, for the blender. And, mm -hmm. you know, so I thought, it, okay, it serves like the charger, yeah. you know. It does, but that's more. You know, I thought it was all <laughs> that. But for the fact that you can actually cook on meat, it can heat for you to cook. <laughs> that's, that's a bit strange, right? That's scary. But good moms and cooks like you need space when you're cooking. I know, but it's scary. So that's what it gives you. But I, okay. <laughs> I have a question. That's that's a smart home. Yes. I, well, <laughs> smart homes are interesting. Yeah. But we've seen some adverts, you know, like very funny, ad, funny, funny adverts mm -hmm. we've seen all over the internet, mm -hmm. whereby maybe something happens to the voice of the person and then mm -hmm. the person can't enter his, his room again and the whole sensor doesn't know the voice. Mm -hmm. Is it possible like something like that could happen that, can, that there can actually be a malfunction and everything just goes haywire? Is, well, is there a possibility that it's happen? possible because the with this, the cables and the need the worktop there, like there. So, for example, typical Ghana, in case they're not laid properly, whether there's a leakage or whatever, mm. it might affect but it's electricity mm -hmm. underneath these things. So, that's possible. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the I mean caveat we'll put in there. Right. Yeah. So, we have another one on the list. The last one is a wall, I mean, oven. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just a wall oven. It says here, the, a new AI. Yes. AI. Yes. AI in food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to dance with you I've been looking at you all night Trying to figure you out I just want to make you smile Hold your hand in my hand Looking at the sunset Man, you're looking good tonight I want to kiss you Before the sun goes down It's what you do That's where we are. I found that very interesting. Yes. I think I won that one. Yes. So like you leave home early in the morning. Yeah. You want a bit of roast for lunch yeah. or whatever. You can throw them in. And then you come can and sit here, yeah, monitor from you your phone. And you can monitor from your phone and then but put it turn up off when it's done. You understand? Bye bye to food burning you know? and the cooked and all the overcooked and all those things. Yeah, and you can tell it and, <laughs> and you can tell it to turn off. Yes. Oh, speed turn it off. Yes. Wow. Yes. That's very interesting. Again, this also gives you recipes. Yes, that, and I mean, ideas. Got to connect yeah, the app because, because it's, it's a con yeah, and it's a community as well. So different things that people are cooking, that's all shared. There, so you can easily get a recipe throw it in there. So. I think it's very interesting. Yeah. I think it's very interesting. I think we should start embracing it since everything is um, changing right mm -hmm. now, and the world is. Um, um, leaning more into innovation, especially mm. tech innovation. Yeah. And I think we should, we mm. should really, you know, 
Last, last, last week, I was speaking to someone at the property I mean, exhibition. And I was saying that our developers need to start thinking about some of these things. So when they are finishing the properties, they put in the installations that will allow us to use some of these right. things. Because right. I've seen places where people buy new properties and they have to redo the cabling. Yes. But well, it's yeah. not done with these things in mind. Even with simple things like even smart doorbells and stuff, they don't allow right. them. So I think it's really interesting. We need a bigger conversation. Yeah, exactly. This is th this was good. This conversation was good. Yeah, yeah, it was very good. But then, uh, if people want to reach out to you, how do they get to reach out to you? Uh, they can look for at Nase on X. At Nase on, on X. X. And if yes. you're wondering what X is, X is or used to be Twitter. That's the one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, so look for Nase on X. So we've been speaking to Stephen Nase Boydi, a digital marketing consultant, and we've been talking about um, smart kitchen appliances, and it's been an interesting one. Although I have my fears, but I think I still like it. We'll be fine. And I hope you like it too. <laughs> they are designed to make our lifestyles more comfortable, easier, yeah, easier yeah. And, and eat better food and all of that. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, Nasser. Thank you. It was nice of you coming. And 